Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today I just want to do a quick update video because um, it's been about a month since I posted my last one. And the channel has awesome Patreon supporters who finance me to some degree on these experiments. And a few super fans that I just feel obligated to do an update post uh, from time to time on. So, all electric vehicles can be used as mobile power walls, kind of like generators on wheels, um, through their 12 volt battery because they charge that off the very large high voltage battery underneath. And you can find plenty of videos online of people who have set down little inverters um, on their little dash here during a, uh, a blackout, hooked it up to the 12 volt battery and run their car off of that. And since I already have an inverter in the back of the vehicle, I'm like, maybe I can run some wires up through there, hook them up to the generator, uh, to the inverter in the back and have my car function as a mobile power wall without having to mess with connecting stuff under the hood here because I've already got the inverter in the back. And it, it also occurred to me that since I already have a 12 volt bank in the back, I can use the solar battery bank as a way to run all the 12 volt systems and pull that load off the main high voltage battery. Um, why do I want to do that? Because that 12 volt system actually produces a constant load of about 250 watts on your high voltage battery. Um, it's constantly pulling voltage out of the battery and cycling it anytime the vehicle is on. And if we can shift that 12 volt load onto a easy, much easier system, battery system to change out, like the 12 volt in the back, we can draw out the life of that high voltage battery underneath the car. So, um, this is not the full how-to video, I'm still working on that. But basically what I did here is I've got lines going from the positive and negative of the 12 volt. And so, while the positive loads and the positive power in are both connected to the, to the positive terminal over here, the negative terminal, I've detached the 12 volt loads and that's the third wire that runs back into the cab over here. Now I've got these, this is our power feed from our main high voltage battery. So when I press this switch, it'll open that and break the connection of the high voltage battery to the 12 volt loads. And I run this here in the back, so my 12 volt loads can connect to my high voltage, to my uh, 12 volt solar battery bank in the back. And in that way, wires run up through there connect to the inverter right there and that way we should be able to switch all of our 12 volt loads to our solar 12 volt battery bank and permanently remove that kind of passive 250 watt load on the main high voltage battery make it last longer and hopefully get this entire electric vehicle to function as a power wall simultaneously i've had a few uh hiccups along the way um the, the drill bit I was using to drill through the, the metal wall there skip off and land in the worst spot it could have possibly landed in which was in that nest of wires back there in the wiring harness so I had to go back in and fish those things out and repair them uh, it's been a little bit of a journey which is why it's taking me so long to get this video out um, but when I finish it I want it to be a full how-to with every step of the process included what bolts you have to undo what screws you have to undo what kind of wire to use, where to drill the hole, so that you guys can make this system for yourselves and pull that and make your Leaf batteries last longer and make your vehicle accessible as a mo mobile power wall. That's the full how-to video I got coming out um, in a couple weeks. Bear with me and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.